By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up a dissolve modulator to show and hide the hypno effect. This is meant for materials that go in the same slot as your eyes. So for example, on this manner kit, as we can see, our material here is designed to go onto the eyes element right here. Not the specular, but the eyes, right? So the hypno material is going to replace the eyes of the avatar. And this tutorial is meant to show you how to set up a dissolve in situations like this, where the hypno material goes on the eyes and replaces the eyes. In case you want to have a dissolve with the screen space or focus, or your avatar is using uh, specular lenses for the hypno material, or some kind of generic or custom made contacts, you're going to want to use this different tutorial available in the description instead. So, I'm going to be doing this using overlay textures and a dissolve modulator. Let's go ahead and set up an overlay texture to show the texture of our eye. So, let's go into the overlay textures, turn overlay one on or any overlay, you could also use overlay too. And let's select a texture to be the eye texture. So we're gonna be using this one right here. As you can see, now we have our normal eye, but using the hypno material instead. And if we adjust the opacity, we can see that we switch into our hypno material. And you can already go ahead and animate this opacity using an animation clip or a VRC Fury animation to show and hide the hypno effect. But we're going to be using a dissolve in this tutorial, so let's go ahead and set up a dissolve for this instead. And the way we do that is using dissolve modulators. If you want to learn more about modulators, there's a whole section about it in the manual. To get started, let's just turn on a modulator on the opacity here. And let's set the opacity modulator to be dissolved. Now, let's set the end value to zero, so that when we start out, we're going to show the overlay, and then when we end, we're going to not show the overlay anymore. Now, let's go ahead and set up a noise texture. The noise texture is going to give us a uh, sort of like an identity or a style for what, what the dissolve is going to be. Let's go ahead and pick any one for now. It's a normal simplex one right here. And then let's adjust the dissolve progress here to see the animation. As you can see, we're dissolving in and out. And we can use a different texture here to change the style. Yeah, we'll use this one. As you can see now, our dissolve is different. So choose the texture that corresponds to the kind of animation that you want to have. And I'm just going to stick with this one because it's simple enough. You can also adjust the margin over here to make it sharper or less sharp. We'll keep it on the default though. Also adjust the tiling of this texture in case we want to adjust the detail level of it or the offset as well. But yeah, this looks good for me. Now, if we do want to adjust the lighting properties of our eye, we can go ahead and turn on the lighting tab here and adjust the various surface properties as well as provide any maps that we want. However, Please be aware that these will also uh, reflect on the hypno material as well. So be careful with what you use here. For this, I'm not going to use any lighting settings because our specular coat right here already does that for us. And yeah, now let's set up an animation so that we can toggle this in game. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to animate this dissolve progress slider right here. So we'll set it to animated so that when, we're, when we lock the shader, this can be a value that we can still modify. And now we can go ahead and make an animation clip that makes us go from one to zero when you want to show the hypno and then zero to one when you want to hide the hypno. Uh, I'm going to be using VRC Fury instead for this because it's a lot simpler. So let's go ahead and right click on the name and copy property name. That's going to be important for us. Now let's go ahead and right click on our avatar and create empty. Name this hypno eyes. Add component. Let's add a VRC Fury toggle for the hypno path. Let's say hypno eyes. And then in the options, let's go ahead and set this to be enable transition state for both of the transition in. And then for this one as well, we're going to add a material property. And what this is going to do is it's going to in the uh, off state, it's going to set this material property to this value. And then in the on state, it's going to set this material property to this other value. Right. And then, you know, when we're going from on to off, it's going to go back to this. So let's go ahead, set up the off state. So for the renderer, we're going to set it up to be the body because our eyes are on the body material. And the property, let's paste in that copy that, uh, that value that we copied from the material and set the value to 1 because we want to set the time of the dissolve to 1. Now, same thing for the on, renderer body, property paste, and then value set to 0 because we want to hide the overlay. And now, we're going to blend from off to on within the span of 1 second and then from on to off within the span of 1 second as well. Before uploading this to VRChat, you're going to want to set the dissolve progress to the default state that you want it to be in. So for us, it's going to be 1. This is to make sure that there are no problems with this kind of 
popping in and out as the animation works. So I'll just set it to one, set it to the default state. And yeah, that's about it. You can now go ahead and test this using Gesture Manager or VRChat. Okay, and now in VRChat, if we go into our radio menu, expressions, we see there's a hypno option now, and we have our eyes option right here, which we can go ahead and click, and it'll do the transition into the hypno material for us. Or rather, just it'll just hide the overlay without doing any material swaps or anything like that. Awesome. That's about it. Have fun.